السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ الحمد للہ الحمد للہ واحد القہار عزیز الغفار مقر اللیل على النہار تذکرت للقلوب والابصار ونشهد ان لا الہ الا اللہ وحده لا شریك له ونشهد ان سیدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله وحبیبه وخلیله اما بعد الحمد للہ سکر بس و اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی دی اللہ واس تو کم فور انادر تذکیہ ورک شاپ ور وی speaking about the realities and understanding what is this concept of tazkiyah, purification of the heart, rectification of, uh, of actions, and, uh, and rectification of the heart and the mind. And, uh, and the spiritual journey that will get us close to Allah and His Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So the topic in hand that is given to me, that is the main core, that is the only way a person could get close to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala is to have a proper connection and a proper company. And uh, 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 sohbat has to be proper, sohbat has to be with the, with the pious. If a person doesn't have a proper sohbat, he will not gain anything, it's just information that we nowadays could Google anything. If someone wants to Google how to do hajj, he could find 12 ways to do hajj. There's only one way, but he could find 12 ways to do hajj in, uh, on Google anytime. That's information. But how to get, get the reality of it, we need to make in a proper connection. We need to make a proper uh, uh, sohbat with somebody. And, 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 the and, and the power of sohbat is such, I'll just mention two examples, and from there I'll take it. As we know, in time of Rasulullah Sallallahu when he was in Mecca, as he, spread Islam, as he started spreading Islam, and <coughs> he wrote to the kings of the world. And one of the, one of the, um, the first migration that took place was Abyssinia, uh, uh, Abyssinia which is nowadays uh, modern era known as Utopia. The king of Habsha was Najashi. Uh, Najashi means king. So uh, that was first migration that took place uh, for the Muslim. And, 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 and the letter of Rasulullah invitation to the Islam also went to the king of, uh, of Byzantine, of Roman Empire, uh, Heracles. And he also received the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So this king also, uh, the, the king of Byzantine, of Roman Empire, Heracles, when he, when he received this letter through his governor, he called the people uh, from the town, if there's any people from Mecca or the Arabs who have heard of this message, of this messenger. And at that time, in, uh, for a business trip, Abu Sufyan, uh, عن, he was a Muslim at that time, he was not Muslim at that time, and he's one of the chief men of Quraysh. They call him and his companion. And, it's been, and then our conversation start, starts, and he, and he asks him a few questions about Rasulullah wasallam. And he puts his companion behind Abu Sufyan and put Abu Sufyan at front. front. So if he, if he lies, so he could, he could check with the, uh, he could see the companion, they would say, no, he's not speaking the truth. So at this moment, Abu, Abu Sufyan, he, he, uh, he mentions that at this moment I wanted to lie so much, but just because my companion would think that I'm a liar, so for this reason I did not lie, I spoke the truth. And he speaks the truth and he asks him a question about Rasulullah more or less, I put it in brief. And he asks him, uh, what's his family status, where does he come from? And he says he comes from a very noble family. And, and, he, and he asked him a few questions, and he said, uh, does, he, does, does he ever spoken lie? He said, he, he has never spoken lie. And uh, is, there, is there any kingdom in his, uh, in his lineage, or is there any type of rule in his, in his lineage? He said, there's no kings in his lineage, and there's no such thing like this. Uh, and and, and then, then he asked a few other questions, and he said, who, who are his followers? Are the rich are following him, or the poor? He said, the poor are more following him and they're accepting Islam. And those who are being oppressed, they're the ones who are accepting the Islam. And he said, when they follow him, do they turn back or they stay with him? And they said, they stay very firm into the, into the religion of Islam and don't turn back. Mind, uh, mind you, Abu Sufyan at this moment is not a Muslim. He's against Rasulullah And his mind is thinking that he wants to say something negative, but he could not because he did, does not want to receive a title from his friend as a liar. So this conversation takes place, and then uh, Heracles, he was impressed, and he said that, he said that uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu he's a true messenger, he's a true prophet, and that is, uh, I did not know that he was supposed to come into your nation, but he have come into your nation. 
he accepted somewhat, he accepted the message, he understood the, the, and he said that if I get to see him, I would wash his feet, I would wash the, uh, the feet of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa that he is the true prophet. So after listening to the message, <coughs> so he's talking about bad company and good company. Right? Getting good company, what happens to you, and a bad company, what happens to you. So this king, uh, after listening to the conversation, he climbed to the highest of his castle, uh, the highest floor, and he locked all the doors, and he made an announcement to his nation. He said, O oh people, there's a messenger came to such such to the Arabs, and he gave his description, and he said that I'm inclined towards accepting his message. What do you all say? So, so his wuzara and his uh, 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 chiefs, they became angry, and they wanted to break through the door and barge into him and kill him and destroy him. And he said, no, 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 relax, relax, I was just joking. I was just checking how firm you are in your religion. He said, from this now on, I'll, I'll stay into the deen, uh, in, uh, in, uh, into Christianity, into the false uh, belief that, I'm, uh, th that you have adapted. Just because of his company, they did not allow him. And, and now other, uh, other king, king, uh, king uh, uh, Najashi, his story begins that he, he took over after his uncle, he became the king. And, and uh, Rasulullah uh, told the companion they were getting persecuted in Mecca, they were getting tortured, they were not allowed to, per, uh, uh, not allowed to perform salah or to practice their religion openly. And Rasulullah told them to migrate to Abyssinia. Uh, and and so, so a group of Sahaba migrated to Abyssinia. The first migration I ever took was to Abyssinia. And with them, with them were many, many great, great Sahaba, likeness of uh, Jafar uh, uh, bin Abi Talib, uh, uh, Jafar uh, uh, al-Tayyar, radiallahu anhu. He was their, uh, he was the leader, and they're they performing their uh, their ritual of Islam and practicing Islam openly because of the king. He was very good, and he allowed them to do this. So the Quraysh, when they heard the Muslim are migrating from Mecca and they establishing Islam in Abyssinia, and they had good connection with Abyssinia with, as business-wise, they sent two of their uh, uh, of uh, of the diplomat and to to discuss this matter. That do not let them establish in Abyssinia, send them back or get rid of them. And and the person they sent was uh, Amr bin Abil As, radiAllahu an. He was not Muslim at this time. And he was sent as a diplomat for the Quraysh of the Mushrikeen of Mecca, and with him one other person. So they come, he, he comes to, uh, to uh, the King Najashi, and, and he starts speaking false about Islam, that these people have left our religion, our forefather, and they, they talk bad of our gods, so and so, made, uh, uh, basically destroy the picture of the Muslims in front, uh, front of Najashi. So Najashi, in uh, somewhat, he was just. He said, let me call the Muslims that are established in my, uh, in my city, uh, in, in my country, let me ask them. And he called some of the Sahaba, and he interviewed them, and I asked them, what is your belief, and what is these people are saying, encounter, and, and, and the Quraysh, the, the Mushrikeen of Quraysh, they have sent a lot of gold and wealth to Najashi. So some influence would happen to him, and they would push, uh, he would push away the Muslim from his, uh, from his country. So, 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 in, uh, so now the person who's, uh, who's representing the Muslim was Jafar radiallahu an, and he's representing the Muslim. And he asked him questions about Islam, and, and he gave everything about Islam. And at this moment he recited uh, 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 Surah Al-Maryam, where he's talking about the, uh, Maryam alayhi salam and Isa alayhi salam, where, they were, where these people were, uh, uh, they were, they were Christian. After Najashi listening to this, he said, this is a true religion. And we believe in the same, the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, and that's what the prophets, uh, prophet, previous prophets have been saying the same thing. And he was feeling inclined towards Islam also. And, 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 and Amr bin As, his effort became a waste in um, uh, front of the court of Najashi. So the next day he tried again. He came back again to debate the, uh, uh, the issue. 
He said, oh, Najashi, listen, that you know the, the Muslims, they do not believe Isa alayhi salam to be son of God. Then Ja'far uh, 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 recited uh, Surah Maryam and presented the, the miraculous birth of Isa alayhi salam and, and the beauty of Maryam alayhi salam in Surah Maryam and Najashi was impressed and, and at this moment he said that, uh, he said, take away your gold and I do not want to see you anymore and he rejected these people, uh, rejected the, 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 the offer of the Mushrikeen of Makkah. And, uh, and, and later on, he accepted Islam. Later on, he accepted Islam. They said, some said, right then, he accepted Islam. He was inclined towards it, and he, and, he, uh, and he was inclined towards it. Some say he accepted later on when some of the Muslim migrated back to, uh, to Makkah and then from Medina. At that time, he accepted Islam. And, and he passed away as a Muslim and Rasulullah prayed his janazah salah in Medina after hearing the demise of, uh, of this king Najashi. And, and, and he spoke in praise of Najashi, Rasulullah sallallahu has spoken in praise of Najashi and accepted, uh, accepted his, his religion. What I'm trying to get to is that the first scenario, there was no suhbat. There was no person that came directly from Rasulullah sallallahu The message was given information was given, the truthness of Rasulullah was presented properly, in here it were intercepted with lies and fabricated, but the Sahabat, the Sahabi, who had the Sahabat of Rasulullah when he presented the deen, and uh, when he presented his deen, the Sahabat transferred into the king of Najashi and allowed him to accept Islam. So this is the power of Sahabat, a person could get information about Islam all he wants, he could know everything, but he will not get the true essence and the acceptance in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala till he does not have a proper suhbat. Just two examples, same king, same power, same individual, same, uh, same situations. And on the other side, they're being inter uh, they're being, he's been giving a uh, false narrative about Islam, but the suhbat was proper and it, uh, the Islam transferred into, into the heart of Najashi. So same way for us, we have to get into, uh, we have to have a proper connection with, uh, uh, with a proper individual have in a good company. Rasulullah sallallahu gives the example of good company and a bad company. He gives a good company is, is, a, company, uh, is, a, is a perfume shop. A person goes into a perfume shop, if he, do, if he does not even put on any perfume, when he comes out, he has some perfume upon him. And, in, and another person, he goes into a smith, uh, a smith shop, he, uh, he even doesn't work, but some, uh, some, of the, uh, some, of the, some, of, some of the dirt gets onto his clothes, and it look, it looks, uh, he becomes dirty. So when a person is, is in a good company, he would, he, would, uh, he, he would get the perfume of the righteous into him, and the good action would start, uh, start to come out from him. And if he's in a bad company, that, uh, I'll end off with the story of, of a person in time of Rasulullah in Medina, he was good friend of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Uqba bin Mut'im, Uqba bin Abi Mut'im, this person, he invited Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and 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 he invited him, and he, uh, and he for, for for a dinner, and he ate. Uh, and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came, and he said, "I will come with this condition that you accept Islam," and he did not want it to. Uh, he did not want it to be rejected by Rasulullah sallallahu so he accepted this, uh, he said, he recited the kalima. And later on in the day, after the, uh, after the, uh, after the, uh, uh, the dinner, one of his friends came, Ubay bin Khalaf, and he said, I heard you have, ex uh, you have recited the kalima and you're Muslim. He said, no, no, I just did it just for, to please Rasulullah sallallahu so he could eat my dinner. And, and he said, no, we don't believe you. And he said, uh, he said, no, if, he said, no I, that, that, that's the only reason I did it for. I don't truly really uh, accept, uh, I, I didn't, didn't really accept Islam. He said, he said, if you wanted to prove, uh, we want proof for this. He said, go and spit into the, into the Mubarak face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So this person decided to go and spit into the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa
Aisha رضی اللہ عنہ says When she sees the Rasul, she sees... Takbir! Takbir! Allah! When she sees the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, she says, Lana shamsun wa li afaqi shams. والشمس أفضل من من الشمس السماء. She says that when she sees the face of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم. She says that, you know, we also have a son and the world also have a son. Then my, uh, uh, the son of my house is brighter than the son of the entire world. He said that the, the, the son of the world uh, were in lights half of the world, but my son uh, stays rise till the entire, uh, the entire, uh, entire day. It rises after Isha, even, it shines even in, in the night, talking about the, be uh, the beauty of the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So this person goes and he spits into the face of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa After he is, uh, spits in the face of Rasulullah sallallahu Allah subhanahu wa sends down ayat where it talks about يا ويلتا ليتني لم أتخذ لم أتخذ فلان خليلا. He says that he would regret on the day of judgment that he would be he would be biting his hand on the day of judgment, and he would be chewing onto his hand till his elbows. And 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 this person would uh, would say would say to Allah, O oh Allah, that I he said, uh, woe to me, woe to me that I have made so and so as a friend. Woe to me that I have made so and so as a friend that allow me to come to this punishment of this Jahannam when he will see Jahannam in front of him for disrespecting and, and, and rejecting himself from the, uh, from the beautiful company of Rasulullah and allowing him to be influenced by the bad company. That is the effect a person would have if he doesn't have a proper, uh, proper connection, proper company, the, uh, proper friends and proper uh, people around him then he would re regret just like this individual as well, would allow him to do uh, commit such sins that would put him and he would regret in the day of judgment that why did I make so and so person as a friend? And this would be, the, uh, this would be, uh, this would be great, uh, great regret and he would come to a point that, oh Allah, give this individual punishment, then he allow me to give him severe punishment, double punishment, he's in Jahannam himself, he has to worry about himself, but even then he'll be making dua against the person who, who indulged him in, 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 uh, in evil sin just because he wanted to impress his bad company. So that is, that is important of uh, proper sohbat as Mawlana Umar have mentioned of the, of the story of Hanzala uh, radiallahu an Umar, Umar bin Khattab when, when, uh, when, uh, uh, when the mashaykh when they listen to this hadith uh, when they listen to this incident of Hanzala and uh, Umar bin, Khattab, uh, Umar bin Khattab, Abu Bakr radiallahu an they, they, they get shook that they, 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 their sahaba, they into the, into the company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa even their heart Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying that your heart changes, that you remain in my company, you're, in, you're seeing Jannat and Jahannam, when you leave from this, you, uh, he said that if, if that state stays with you, if this state stays with you, that you are reminded, that you are seeing Jannat and Jahannam in front of your eyes, if this state remains with you, 
he said he said he said he said he said that my life is into the in, uh, uh, the the owner of my life I saw by him that the angels will come that you'll be laying into your bed and they will come and shake your hands and you'll be walking onto the roads they will shake your hands and 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 he repeated this three times if the state of uh, of sohbat stays with you to, uh, remains with you but what we have to do we have to take care of our families and we have to take care of affairs of this world as well so for this reason, we have, to, we have to indulge ourselves in a proper company. There's more to say, there's, uh, there's very less time. So I'll end off with this and connect yourself with proper, uh, proper indivi uh, individual that can rectify your heart and purify your, uh, 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 your heart. You cannot do yourself. There's all information. Information needs to be translated uh, from a proper individual. Just that so you have to go to a proper university. An engineer does not go to a doctor. If he wants to become an engineer, he does not go to a medical school. Right, if he wants to become a uh, if he, if he wants to become a doctor, he doesn't go to an engineering school. So just like this, a per person has to come to a proper uh, source and get this rectification and purification of the heart. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala give us the ability to follow upon to the Sunnah of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wa akhirudah wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.